The challenge that we all have today when we're building brands or working on brands is that the marketplace has never been so crowded. So ultimately in 2016, you can't just build a product or provide a service and expect people to flock to you in droves and then endorse you on your behalf. It just doesn't work like that anymore. Emotion is a fundamental ingredient to the creation of loyalty. We often forget that behind every click, behind every call, is a human being. And they want to be treated thusly. Now we've had the technology to create a sense of individuality for 20 years now, but all we seem to do with it is when I log in, it changes from log in to, hi Alex, that's not really what we're talking about. If you want to foster an emotional connection with a customer, and invest in this relationship, you have to give them a sense of individuality. And it seems like a very daunting prospect that will require a million dollar CRM system when really it's the little things that keep me coming back. And one of the things that Virgin does right is whenever I get on the plane and I'm sitting in seat 72K, middle seat next to the screaming child, somebody from the flight in flight team will come up to me and say, uh, hand me a glass of champagne and say, it's good to see you again, Alex. Thanks for coming back. Alex, Alex, not Mr. Hunter, not seat 72K, not frequent flyer 6949494. Alex, I don't even like champagne, but I'm going to drink that shit because I know where it came from. I know all the things that had to happen to make that transaction take place. And that's why I continue to fly with them every single time. Little tiny things like that. Don't over-optimize the transaction. Pull back and focus on investing in the relationship. What brand or product or service could you not live without? So mine is Diet Coke. There is absolutely nothing better to me in this entire world than a cool, crisp, ref no, they're not paying me, refreshing can of Diet Coke. I know it's gonna hit the spot. I know it's gonna taste exactly the same no matter where I go in the world. I am 100% brand loyal to Diet Coke. So much so that if I go into a bar or a restaurant and I order a Diet Coke, and the waiter or waitress says, would Diet Pepsi be okay? It's like they've spit on my grandmother. Oh no, God, Diet Pe are you, what? <laughs> if I can have such a passionate, emotional, borderline sociopathic relationship with something as innocuous as brown water in a silver can, there is not a single industry, product, or service on this earth that is immune from that type of response to someone. That type of response is completely based on emotion. My loyalty to Diet Coke is absolutely not based on reason. My loyalty to my wife is not based on reason either. It's purely based on emotion. But it proves the fact that you have to build up this relationship with the customer. It's a human business legacy we want to leave behind us.